Hello! Today I went shopping for RVs again and this time I went with my friend Roger. My friends Roger and Joy, they're married. They are going to RV full time probably a year after me. So they are kind of in the phase that I am. They're shopping but they're pretty set on what they want to. And I'm just sort of narrowing down the options, deciding what exactly I want and what I don't want and what I can take and what I can't take. So the videos you're going to see today are us shopping today and kind of the decision making process about like what things you need to think about while you're looking, what things you think about that you can compromise on and maybe that you don't want to. Um, I take you through each different kind of RV, so class C, class B, class B plus, trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and class A's. So you can see a little bit of everything. It is kind of a long video. If you get bored, just skip ahead. But again, please subscribe, hit like, comment below, and I will get back to you. Thanks.
in this industry, you should know every brand out there. So that's another point that a lot of the RV sales guys do not live in an RV. No, most they of them live in an apartment or right. a house. Yeah. So right. what do they know? And they don't even own one. They they've never been yeah. in one except for the dealer lot. Their business. I mean, heck, I was out at one dealer, and they had some brand new Class E's come in. I was like, oh, cool, let's go look at those. And I was like, oh, hey, somebody left the lights on. Mm -hmm. The lady that was showing me around says, I need to call one of the techs so they can come out here and turn the lights off. Oh, wow. Like, they didn't know how. You don't even know how to turn the lights off when you're selling these things? No, I'm so I don't, like that, I don't like that the dealers pee in it. Like, oh. that's somebody else's RV. What are you peeing in their RV for? That's yeah. disgusting. That's, that's one of those things you see. And yeah, you I don't like that. It's just like, I don't like that. What? I saw a lot of pee in some of these RVs. Well, but maybe it's customers. I don't know. So, today we're going to go look at Class B's. Lead pluses and maybe some small C's, and we will take you for the ride. And it will be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun, and we'll learn a lot. And I'll lay down and see can I live in a Class B? I really want to live in a van because it's mobile, and I can I can stealth park, which means you know park in a Walmart parking lot or an apartment complex, and maybe people won't notice. But I'm worried it's a little too small for me. So we will see. <laughs> Start at 109, but now it's on sale for 72. Is that what? And it's 21 footer. It's too big. I, it's just too much room. I feel like I don't need all this space. Yeah, but you'll be spread out quick. It disappears. Well, yeah. But I like this because it's got double sink. Let's see the storage. So you get under. This is not, this is batteries, isn't it? Oh no, there's no, space there. batteries are underneath the step. Okay. And then you got space. See, I don't, I feel like that's a waste. Yeah, I don't need that. That's too big. Let's check out the bathroom. Nice. They all kind of look the same. That wall is warped. Uh oh. What is? That wall in the bathroom. Look at it. The bottom. Oh, yeah. Not a good sign. For a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I've, I've never seen a forest river. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's nice. I like the couch. Nice big sink. Big stove and an oven. No, it's got a microwave. Damn it. I want an oven so bad. Why is it so hard to ask for an oven? Okay, so I'm looking at windows. So we got a window there and a window behind me. For crosswind I don't like the bed up there I think it's a waste I don't need it but see in the back I like to be able to see if I hear a noise I can't see what's behind us I can only see out <laughs> Oh, these are Pleasure Way. I'm not interested. I heard so many bad things about them. And plus it's $150,000. No, I do not have that kind of money. What is this? One twenty-five. dollars What is this? Made in Canada. Is this a Pleasure Way? I think. Wow, this is cool though. Oh my God, look at this. It's really cool. Wow. Look at it. Oh, okay. It's wow. like stepping into another planet. Wow, okay. Didn't expect that. Me either. It's like a wall of storage. Oh. It, it feels brighter too, doesn't it? Well, it's a lighter wood. The other ones have been darker. Huh. I could do this. Yeah, well, there's your bed right there. Well, because this does this open to a whole bed or? Yeah. Out right there. Oh my gosh. No. Up. Something slides out. Oh, look. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Yeah, the Let me lay on it. Wait, I feel like I'm going to pinch my fingers. Okay. Wow, it's 
it's huge. Hmm. Oh, that's a leisure. Oh, and there's a Heimer. I've been wanting to look at the Heimer. That's pretty cool, huh? I like this one. Yeah, this is pretty slick. Here's well, I heard they keep, they keep their uh, appreciation a little bit more because they're from Canada. There's not a lot of them down here. Okay, let's check this out. I don't know. Mm, look how high the bed is. Heimer. How does this work? Oh. Jesus. How's that going to be making your bed up and down every day? There's lots of windows back here though. I like that. Okay. So let me check this out. Here. Here you go pro me. Oh. Okay. Go pro you. Uh, wait. I gotta climb into bed. <laughs> <laughs> what if I get old? Oh, this is comfy though. What do you mean, what if? You will get old. Okay, it's going to happen. Okay, so wait, you got windows in the back. And you yeah, got so you got outside. windows here. That's pretty cool. So I can see dangerous. Window, window, I can shoot, and window. shoot now and ask questions later. Right. I like it. Yep, I can But see. you got storage on top. Storage, storage. And storage there. Let me see this. This feels like a van I could fit in. Oh, look, it, look, it turns into an Angie cave. Yeah. Like, I'm in my cave. Leave <laughs> You're in your cave. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> did I just break the same thing? Oh, you did. did. Would you stop touching well, things? Fix, you break us things. Can you pick you anywhere? There we go. Yeah. Like if it's that. easy to break, it's easy to fix. Okay, so wait. So now if I take this out. Oh, it's like a little cave. Break is easy to fix. Just sounded good. Okay, so. Alright, so wait, we got. Oh, that's huge. We got another one right here. What's that? The inverter? Oh, I can't see. Let's go with the batteries. Uh, inverter. Inverter. Batteries. That's Connections, yeah. That's the fuse box. Fuse box. So it's your power source area. I don't, I don't like sleeping under over that. Okay, sleep on the other side then. What if there's a fire? What if there's not? Yeah, I like when you said that. Okay, we just had a great conversation and I didn't film it. And we can't so recreate rewound. that. No. We're rewinding. <laughs> we cannot rewind that. Okay, well we're trying to, this is what I'm trying to say. Alright, we just looked, if I had to narrow that down to top three. One is a Thor Gemini, a couple years old, low miles and diesel for $50,000. That would make my payment about $450. The second one was a $100,000 unit, very nice, but high end, and why do you need that? It's brand new. And it's so brand new. The third one was, what is it called, a Heimer. A Heimer. And that truck is making me nervous. Sorry. <laughs> Which truck? A Heimer, that one. <laughs> it's just like, we're gonna go under it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> driving anxiety get ready because you're gonna be dealing with it okay third one <coughs> I'm choking because all this shit smelled like China oh that was <coughs> <really big. laughs> God okay the third one what am I talking about the Heimer the, the Heimer but what didn't you like about it I liked it no for me I mean if it was for you it's too small too but small for me the only pain is you have to take the bed apart but it's also for me and my wife it's not just me yeah so I'd have to take the bed apart every day Right. But I like that there's windows all around the back. Sure. And there's also a sitting area back there. Yes, and you could sit. But wait, the bathroom was a wet bath and it was really tiny. Yeah. It was almost like a bitch bath only. Like, you're not going to enjoy yourself in there. And you're probably not going to be able to reach some certain parts, you know? You're going to have to like go like this. I don't know. <laughs> wait, are you taking 55? Okay, so, okay, so here's a question. So if, if we only know, let's just plan on the first year. You only, like you're, you wanna make a wise financial decision. You don't wanna put yourself in debt, but you don't want something so crappy that you roll down Highway 70 and you have to call your friend and say, Roger, come pick me up, right? Right. So to me, the, the smartest decision would be like a $50,000 for Gemini. 
Okay, so now the decision is solar. <laughs> solar, yes or no? Okay, so. Is it required? No. Does it make it easier out in the desert? Yes, because you don't have to run your generator all the time to keep your batteries. So, that, so that means all day you can use all your things plugged in. You can charge your phone, your camera, your computer off of the solar. Off the batteries. Because it's the solar sucks the energy out of the sun, puts it in the batteries, and then you're just running off the battery, right? Right. So the alternative is, I hope I understand this right. I've been trying, this stuff is uh, shockingly complicated, but I'm trying to, okay. Yeah, well, so, okay, so if you don't have solar panels, then you can still pull things off of your batteries, but then you have to run the generator at night or in the morning to charge the battery back up. Which is chewing up your gas tank fuel. Oh. But then again, if you're only going to do it for a year, do you want to make an investment of how much does solar panels X amount cost? of dollars. Yeah. Well, for lithium batteries, is really the way to go. Eight, nine hundred dollars a pop, two of those. They're sixteen hundred dollars. Plus, you now you need your panels. Depends on what panels you get. You know, ideally, a two hundred sixty-five watt panel would be ideal. Then you can get one of those. But depending on the roof space, and real estate. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to put two one hundred watt panels. But you can also get a suitcase panel as well. That's what I was thinking. What about just a suitcase? I, the thing, my most worry is going to be my laptop, my cell phone, my hotspot, my camera equipment. That has to be charged all the time. And so you can... You don't really need light during the day because no. you're going to be outside with the sun. And then at night you might need a night light. So what do I need to charge all that and to make sure I'm you charged? Can, you could probably get by with a suitcase panel. Because remember, you're only looking at the, a 12-month period. Yes, let's just look then, at the first year. Later, right. if I really like then it, then you invest. you can make that decision down the road. But if you're looking at just a 12-month period, go with the solar, solar panels. That's why you don't or a suitcase solar panel. Mm -hmm. And that's why you don't have a whole lot of money wrapped up into it. And leave the batteries alone. Use the batteries that's already there versus the changing batteries. the marine batteries instead of changing them out. Okay. And then if you do have to, if they do break and or go dead in three months or four months, just replace them. They're cheap enough. Instead of, okay, well, we'll put lithium in it. Well, if you want to get rid of it, that's a waste of money. Yeah. So, uh, it's just, I would go with a suitcase panel myself. Smart. I've only done it 12 months now. How no, much okay. do those cost about? Well, you can get them on Amazon for a couple hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see us tonight. On wheels looks like. Uh oh, we're rocking it. Can you hear that? Oh, look at that. It's a lot of storage. Oh, it's the blinds doing that. Well, yeah, let's see. It's not the paper ones. Yeah, that's all right. So, huh? This would be the way to go with. So these you got ones. a fireplace, a TV, an island, a full refrigerator, and you have an oven and an office. Look at that. Wow. More storage up there. A whole office with doors until sh people shut up. <laughs> storage in a bunkhouse. That is really cool, that bunk. It's for grandkids. So a small Store. closet here. Yeah, all your stuff. All your controllers are here. So when you go to put solar in. It says solar to the people, so something. So yeah, you put your controllers all up here. Oh, I see. This unit is equipped for maximum performance. Yeah. Okay, let's go that way, up the steps. Let me so check this out. Up here, steps up here. This here be just storage. Unless you have kids spend the night. Grandkids. Uh, I just duct tape my hands together, tie them to a tree. Yes. <laughs> Hammock. Hammock, yeah. <laughs> Wi-Fi router. Yeah. That's cool. Oh my God, it's huge compared yeah. to the other ones. You even have storage in here. Wow. Hmm. Full vanity. Okay, so this would be the main master bedroom. Yeah. It's pretty nice. With a door. Washer dryer hookup, the extra wow. chairs. And that's a closet for a room for, oh, here's a TV. Oh, for the whole house vacuum system, okay. Wow. Close hamper. Nice. Huh. So that's the difference between a class B and this is a fourth, fifth wheel, sorry. <laughs> What is it? Shoe rack. A shoe rack. Oh my god. This is fancy. Fancy. <laughs> fancy. Very fancy. I do love the kitchen. The, the models like this are made for women because when the woman sees the kitchen, she wants it. And when the man sees the space, he wants it for the space.
Well, but, no, she just needs one for the uh, workspace, the office space, which I get. Yeah. Pretty I mean, cool. And you have a couch in there. And there's a couch in here, but it also has a trifold so it can fold up to a bed. Oh, perfect. And also the same with that couch. It folds up to a bed. Wow. So. So nice. Wow. Be careful. Oh. So you ride your motorcycle up there. Or put the dogs out on the porch. Wow, that's really cool. They call this a toy hauler. That's pretty, that's perfect for a motorcycle or bikes. Right the bed is right here. Oh. So lower the bed so you can crawl on it. Right now it's a press up towards the ceiling. Wow, I gotta see that. Yes. That is cool. <coughs> Neat. And what's that? Ah, of course the name is Kitchen Ring. I'll have to Google it and look it up. Huh. But they have a patio that comes out this side. I've seen those. None of this stuff here. And it has a block on, or a fence around it so you yeah. can put your dogs out. Yeah, so it's just strictly up the side, not the back. Wow, that is so cool. And see, even with my back, I can lift this up. It's light. It's really light. Yeah. Even with my back, I can lift this up. Huh. That is neat. Okay, let me see the inside. Oh, that's nice. Fridge, the whole fridge. Oh, this kitchen is much nicer. It stinks like so really bad chemicals. Oh yeah, brand new. <clears throat> Makes my throat yeah. feel like it's swelling. Oh wow, look at this. Don't you think this is too much though? I mean, you have room for six people to sit. That's a lot. I mean, there's only two of you. Oh wow. So you lower the bed, that's when you... That's you like, know. holy crap, that's cool. So if you put a, like a golf cart or something, you have to take it out in order to go to bed. Oh, that's I the see. Thing. Oh, it's raining. Too bad, you still gotta take it out. Wow. Or you sleep on the couch. So is it called High Country because your bed is up high? No, that's just the brand High Country. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or is it because you get high in the country? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you lower the bed, hit the button, and raise it back oh, up to the ceiling. That's funny. You're not getting out of here now. Wow. But that looks like a 31. I think those, this one's too long, I can tell. Too long. That's 26. 26. Wow, it's like a totally different world. Yeah, see the difference? It's huge. Again, a waste of space for me personally. Yeah. Uh -huh. But look at the kitchen and it has an oven. Tell me what the Furion is. What is the difference? But from what I understand, I could be wrong. Chicks are probably in. But uh, the Furion, from what I've understood, and read, it heats more evenly. Not like the propane. In there, unlike the other yeah. brand, the Dometic. So you got stove. I need. I really do need that oven. And a little extra counter space. Oh my God! Come on. Did you break it? Just leave it open. <laughs> okay, wait, let me check the bathroom out. That's not bad, it's the same. Same as usual. Tiny. It's enough though. Yeah, how long are you really going to be on. in there? 10 to 20 minutes? Oh, look, it's got. What is this for? Is that a sex stool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think. What's this for? <laughs> I'm so dirty. Okay. Uh, what is it for though? A diaper changing? No, it's a like makeup counter. I I made, don't know. Look, yeah. I made him blush. <laughs> Storage underneath the sink. Let's see if this is a plug. That's cool for appliances. Okay, this is a little bit much for me because I feel like you only need one or the other, not both. Is this gas? And there's only one window right here, and that's to see the rear. It's 26 foot. So I bet if I looked for a 22 or a 20, I'd be a little better. So yeah, that's a gas. Let's look at the Coachman Freelander. Ooh, this is cool. This is a little better. It's shorter. 
You don't have both things, you just have one. I like this, it has double sinks and an oven and extra counter space. Waste of space. That's okay. The storage. Yeah. It's just coming up with creative. Oh, I like this. It slides out. Look. And they're not crap. Yeah, they are. Wait, yes, they are because they won't go back in. They're not dovetail. Ugh. It won't go back in. Oh. Okay, under the sink. That's good. So you got a microwave and I really like the oven and this because what do I do most of the time is cooking. Right. You just need one with just like 90, take and move all that and make it a countertop for you. I agree. <laughs> I like the windows though. Look, you got windows on both sides. See that for safety. Bathroom is the same. Fridge is right here. I really like this. It's decent. Because you are the only one. starter RV don't make a stupid financial decision don't throw money away that is going to be depreciating um, and then Ooh. at the year mark you can reevaluate do I need to go bigger or smaller do I hate this and want to go home if I go home can I rent it out you know and or sell it or whatever and you're not put yourself and then you're not stuck money. and I don't first of all I don't want to buy new at all I think new would be stupid so, I don't know that's where my decision making process is at right now. I think 60000 or less. And less would even be better. That's pretty cool though. We got a stereo built in. So here's the bed on this slide. It's a walk-in closet! Did you see that, Roger? It has a walk-in closet. You change in here. It's got everything in here. and then let me go. <laughs> you figure you're nice. this kind of money on this RV and those stairs are like that. How much does this cost you think? That is correct. A lot. I like the window. You can see the view of the world. Look how big this is. Wow. This is for a whole family. You could do yoga in the middle of the freaking RV. A couple people have yoga class. Let's check this out. Wow. It doesn't even have an oven. Why? Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's handy. Under the bed. I like that a lot. More storage. Is that a TV? No, it goes in that storage room. Oh, that's right. Outside shower. You see that? This is a Mercedes chassis. Let's check it out. Not bad. Look at the double sinks and an oven. And a couch instead of a ugly table. See, look. I like this one. 
a lot. What is this, a Thor again? See, it's a damn Thor. But it has everything I want. This is, if I had, if I had to say this is absolutely what I want, it would be a double sink, an oven, and a chair instead of a dinette. This whole spot right here is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, the way you've been talking all day, it seems like it would be. Yep. That one is $74,000. It's a 2017. No, it's diesel 25. though. Yeah. What do you think, 65? Yeah, right, probably, yeah. And here's a little pull behind trailer so you can see the difference. And I'll tell you why it's not good for me. Hold on. So it's super cute. We got a bed, some good storage, nice windows double sink fridge there's a bunkhouse that I don't need <gasps> this one's got a bathtub I would totally soak in that even though it's tiny and you got a slide with tables and chairs the reason I don't like this is because if I hear something go boo outside you'd have to come outside you'd have to pull your stabilizers up right there and right there You'd have to hitch it to your truck, which means you also have to buy a truck because I do not own a truck. So that's another thirty to sixty thousand dollars on top of purchasing that. So you cannot make a quick getaway. I don't mind hauling. I mean, it's not a big deal. But buying a truck and a trailer and not having the safety of leaving at a minute's notice makes me a little uneasy because I'm going to be traveling by myself. So that's kind of why I've narrowed it down to a B and a B plus or a tiny C. Like, okay, this is too big, this is too small. You really do need the double sinks, you really do need an 
oven because the way you eat, like this is too long for you, this is too short for you. You know, we're gonna learn all those things in November. So that is the plan right now. Well, we'll learn a lot. Yeah. Then we're gonna learn. We gotta learn everything. Week. Yeah, because you're gonna need to live in it for you know a while to learn yeah. all that stuff. And there's gonna be three of us in it, not just you by yourself. Yep. Yep. So. So that when I get totally freaked out about electric, I can go, Roger, help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won't be able to do that on the road. Yeah. <laughs> not like, until we're on the road next year. Yeah. Yeah. Then, so, then once we're on the road, it's like, uh, where are you at? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, FaceTime me. Let me see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's gonna be like, <laughs> like the other time when my car wouldn't start and I had to call him. And yeah. he goes, put the phone out of the window. Let me hear what it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the damn thing started up for the tow truck guy. Yeah, as soon as he got there. Base, of course. Of course. So that's adventures in ENG that we're going to. Yeah, maybe. I wake up, should be gone. 